Great. Mm -hmm. so. I'm your kid. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I'm the leader of the delegation of always has to, <laughs> has to manage everything. Sorry. So we are now yours. OK, great. Um, so, greetings, friends. Uh, it is a honor and a privilege to welcome. Uh, uh, okay, sure. Why not? <laughs> okay. Um, okay. Is it better? Like this? Uh, I, I think it's. I don't. It's. Not it's. it's uh, I don't think this is necessary. Actually, I'll just speak up. <laughs> All right. Um, so, uh, greetings, friends. Uh, it is an honor and a privilege to welcome all of you this morning uh, to MODA, uh, our ministry, the Ministry of Digital Affairs, uh, and the presence of this large delegation from Czechia, uh, led by um, Speaker Adamova, uh, is uh, very treasured in this testing time. So we're just talking about we're all in the front line, so to speak. Uh, but it's equally important. It sends a timely message uh, to the free and not so free world uh, that Taiwan is not alone. Uh, and such a sense of true solidarity is critically important today as countries come together to tackle common challenges. And it is vital that we extend our uh, friendship uh, between each other, but also amplifying our shared values, because we're natural partners in our shared values of democracy, freedom, human rights, and rule of law, in which all members of society share in the fruits of sustainable prosperity. Now, the Like-Minded Foundation is in sync uh, with MODA, our ministry's core commitment. It's called plurality or collaborative diversity. Uh, we believe empowering people through co-creation embeds the key of deepening our democracy. And this is why instead of a Department of International Cooperation, our department here is called the Department of Democracy Network. We cooperate with democracies uh, and only democracies uh, worldwide uh, to achieve the goal of freeing the future together. Now, uh, as Taiwan and Czechia move forward shoulder to shoulder on the world stage, uh, it is essential, I believe, to explore new avenues uh, for cooperation. Uh, I remember <clears throat> the historic visit of uh, your Senate President, uh, Vice Chris Hill, uh, in 2020, I believe, uh, and that was a superb start for this collaboration. And so, Speaker Adamova uh, and all of you will undoubtedly accomplish even more, forging fresh fields of cooperation on deepening democracy. And case in point, of course, uh, is all over the media, the uh, Czech Hub in Taipei, uh, freshly opened uh, this week, um, and by the European uh, Bio Center for security policy uh, and the Czech Taiwanese business chamber. Now, this milestone, I think, is very important because it inspires all of us uh, in like-minded countries also uh, to redouble our efforts in reinforcing our relationship. So it is truly a pleasure uh, to welcome all of you, uh, and especially uh, congratulations on receiving the legislative union honors. <laughs> uh, and I think, rest assured, Taiwan is with you. <laughs> so uh, furthermore, uh, I feel compelled now uh, to conclude this opening remark uh, by quoting uh, the wisdom of your uh, late President Havel. Uh, there are particularly, I believe, these words uh, poignant in light of Russia's brutal and full-scale war of aggression against Ukraine and the rapidly shifting geopolitical realities. And I quote, um, I feel that the dormant goodwill in people needs to be stirred. People need to hear that it makes sense to behave decently or to help others, to place common interests above their own interests, to respect the elementary rules of human coexistence. Uh, and thank you, Speaker Adamova, and all of our friends. Uh, live long and prosper. Thank you. Thank you.